Okay, uh, Arun says, I am confused about the save settings for the game. How does it work and why do we need it? Okay, we can talk about this. This is also pretty straightforward, but uh, definitely a little complicated if you don't know what to, what's going on. So if we go to the settings here and we have player save settings. So this allows us to save specific values for each individual player so that when that player returns, they can, for example, in my game here, I have this, I can customize my car, I can customize my player, and every time I load back in, oh, we need to get rid of this test one, delete that. Um, every time I come back in, it saves, it saves my car color, my wheel color, and what player I'm using, right? So now I just changed all of that. And even while I'm in the editing mode here, it's going to save that. So if I go back and I start again, you're going to see I get my purple car with my green wheels and my ping, not ping glue. That's a uh, slippy. No, slippy was the frog. I don't know. Frosty. Frosty is the penguin. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that's one use for that. Of course, it can be used for all kinds of stuff. You can save progress. Um, for example, this is a, a racing game with multiple racetracks. So I have somewhere here, actually, I think it's back here closer to the mainland. I have like up here, uh, I'm, I'm saving, uh, the player's personal best on every track, their best time. Um, so there's some logic there, but ultimately these numbers, which are track, it's the track index plus PB, that's saving what time the player has had on that track. I also have a second one here that is saving, that is just saying whether or not the player has passed that track. Um, so it's, I'm saving all of this data so that the next time the player comes in, uh, they don't have to start from the beginning. They can pick up from where they left off. Um, so that is the why. So let's get into the how. So uh, you can save. I have saved here. Uh, all of my ones in this example are number nodes, but you can also save vectors uh, and you can save lists. So uh, the first thing you want to do is on any node that you want to save, be it a number or a vector or a list, you're definitely going to want to name it because you're going to need to be able to find it in a list of every number node and vector node and list that you have in the game, right? So if I go back here to the settings, the player save settings. So right now I'm on the save profile and this shows me all the values that I'm saving, right? I have a whole mess of number nodes here that are being saved. If I go over to the number tab here, now I can see every number node I have in the hype. And you can see a lot of them are not named, right? They're just number, number, number. This is why you want to name it. Because if I needed to know which number to use, I'm never going to be able to figure that out without that node being named. And then if there is a value you want to save, you just hit that little disk icon. So the car menu visible, it's not a value I want to save, so I'm going to uncheck that. But you just pick which ones you want and you click that save icon, it'll turn green. And then when you go back to the saved page, it'll be on the list. We can do that again for numbers, vectors, I'm not using any vectors in here, lists, I'm not using any lists either. But yeah, that is the basics of saving um, player save settings, I guess we call that. Uh, it was at one point it was called like save progress or something like that. But of course there's tons of different uses for it. Um, and with the addition of lists, the, the like the data that you can save per player is, uh, you can save quite a lot of stuff if you want to. Another question here, 